apparently walking on the frozen ocean. New Harbour, Ross Sea, Antarctica. I've just joined one of the little dive camps here. About a 40 minute flight by helicopter from Scott Base. These guys are diving under the frozen ocean. Absolutely crazy. Welcome to a day on ice, Antarctic style. Just arrived at the dive camp in New Harbour. You can see it just behind me here. There's a 40 minute flight over from Scott Base. That's the toilet tent with the green flag outside. Kitchen tent is blue, yellow is the lab, and then over in the distance is the dive tent. You might think Antarctic is always cold. It's not actually that cold right now. It's probably about negative 10. So as you can see, I've got a nice warm puffer jacket on and a whole bunch of thermal layers underneath. So I'm pretty warm right now. But yeah, we're surrounded by ice. This ice is uh, four meters thick here at the moment. So I'll show you in a second uh, what the divers are doing, but they've got this massive hole um, and a tent over the top. So it's nice and warm. They go for about 40 minutes at a time and when they come up, like some of their cheeks are blue, their lips are blue. They wear dry suits, so the rest of their body is pretty warm, but around their face definitely isn't. So these guys come down here every year to do this. It's an ongoing science project. I'm not going to get into the technicalities of their science, but they're studying you know, what's happening down under the ice. So as you can see behind me, there's basically nothing. It's just a land of ice and rock. I should say nothing living. But apparently under the ice is completely different. I don't know. I'm not going to go down and have a look. It's too cold. So down behind me here is the hole that the divers go through to the bottom of the sea about 19 meters deep right there and the water is negative 1.9 degrees celsius very very cold dive time is about 45 minutes max and most important in the corner is the diesel heater this goes all day all night and this is what makes it possible to dive into the icy cold waters i'm going to go to some lunch now after lunch we're going to do some diving I'm going to be helping them out and I'll show you some cool videos of the divers going in. Oh, it's going to be so cool.
So you're probably wondering what temperature is it in Antarctica? Right now it's about negative five, so it's quite warm. I've still got my puffer jacket on. But at night it's gonna get probably to negative 15. By night I mean two o'clock in the morning when actually the sun's still up in the sky. So it doesn't get dark, it's quite hard to sleep here sometimes. What I usually do is pull my beanie down over my eyes like that. That way I can actually sleep. Here's my tent. I'll take you for a quick look inside. Very yellow. This is my bed here. So it's two very thick sleeping bags. It's really, really warm, even if it's negative 40. Inside the sleeping bags is still toasty. Now, because we're in Antarctica and it's always below zero, all the water's frozen. So there's no rivers, no creeks, nothing. So again, water is quite a problem. As you can see, I'm currently walking on ice, but that's the ocean. So if we thaw the sea ice out, it's salty and we can't drink it. So this evening, we're going to go over on the skidoos and drive to the closest iceberg. You can see it way, way off in the distance there. It's going to take us about 50 minutes to drive out there. When we melt the ice using the stove in that blue tent, then we can make water. I've just climbed into bed. It's 10.30 and the sun is still high in the sky. Definitely got a little bit colder, but it's pretty bright, as you can see. So I'm going to put my sleep mask on and go to sleep. So we've got our bags packed and we're waiting for the helicopter. Actually, I think I can hear it now. We thought we weren't going to get picked up today because the weather went bad and then luckily there was a bit of a break in the weather so we're going to go home.